And your opinion of Susan? Well, Susan really needs to allow others to feel good about their ideas, even when she's got a better plan. She needs to be more patient and allow them to share their own ideas that are just different from her own. It would be good if she regularly sought to understand what others were feeling and thinking and notice what evidence there is regarding situations before speaking on her own opinions or offering solutions. She needs to listen better, pay attention to what's being said rather than thinking about what she wants to say. It's usually apparent in her body language that she's not listening. That puts people off and when she summarises she needs to be more accurate representing the other person's ideas. Susan misses the non-technical aspects in meetings. The mood and evolution of opinions are lost on her. She gets singularly focused on one issue and can't see the wood for the trees, frustrating all those around her and oblivious to their reactions. It would help her to work on making her own conversations as concise, targeted as possible. People lose interested or get confused during her long, rambling explanations. Within the team, she's not one to socialise and comes across as not interested in what's going on with a person on a particular day showing little empathy or understanding. This transmits into work issues, where she's got difficulty explaining her ideas in a way that will, others will likely to be accept, and when challenged, she has a hardening of her positioning that distances her even further from the other person and stops her totally from influencing them.